theme handling data, unit branching out, and this is video group. So children, you've been using the Tizzy's First Tools program and you've been looking at the Decide software. And what you've been doing is you've actually been looking at something called branching databases. Branching databases are where we have a selection of information and we can filter down that information by asking appropriate questions. What you're going to do now is create your own branching database by clicking on level three and then the Decide software. The first thing we need to do is we are going to make a new tree. Okay, If you've already made a tree and you want to open it up again and change it, then you click on this button. We're going to make a new one. So the lady's telling us to put pictures in our tree for the uh, in the box. So to get the pictures, we're going to click on the picture button and we're going to choose one of these areas to select our pictures from. I'm going to choose the shape area and I'm going to drag an even number of shapes into this box. What even numbers are there? Well, I'm going to choose the number 6 as my even number. So I'm going to drag 6 shapes into my box. You could drag 4, you could drag 8, I'm going to drag 6. There we go. Once you've dragged the number of shapes you want in your box, press OK. What I've got to do is divide these objects into two groups by asking a question. So what question could I ask that will split these objects into two groups. Well I want to ask the question, has it got four sides? I'm not very good at spelling so what I'm going to do is use this tool here called the words button and it'll give me some words that I can use in my question. So has it got four sides? Now then, once I've asked that question I'm going to press the OK button. So what I've got to do now is I've got to drag, I've got to ask this question to each object and drag the object into the appropriate answer. So this circle, has it got four sides? No. 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 This has got four sides, so that's a yes. Has this got four sides? Yes. Once I've done that, press OK. Now again, I've got to ask a different question to divide these objects into two groups. I can't ask the same question, has it got four sides, because they both have. So let's have a look what I could use. How about, if I click in my box, is it, whoops, I pressed that twice, use backspace, is it blue? And that'll separate them into two groups. So press OK. Yes, that one is blue. No, that one isn't. And press OK again. Now what you've got to do is you've got to keep asking questions to divide the objects into two groups until you get down to the very end. And what I'm going to do now is pause this video and carry on doing this activity. And that, then I'll show you what happens when you've finished. Okay, so I've asked all the questions that I need to ask and it's separated all my objects into different groups. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, I'm then going to be presented with this. This is my branching database. Now I'm going to use this button to zoom out so that I can see all of my branching database, like this. Okay, you can see the questions that I've asked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button, play the game, it's then going to ask if I want to save it and I've got to press yes. I need to save this before I can play the game. So I'm going to put my name, Mr. Wood, and I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call this one Shapes and press okay. And there you go, what happens now is the question is read out to me, has it got four sides? So I'm first of all, before I play this game, going to think of one of the shapes. Okay, so I'm going to be thinking of a yellow circle. Let's listen to this one again by pressing this mouth button. Has it got four sides, a yellow circle? No. Has it got three sides? No. Is it yellow? Yes. Is it a yellow circle? Yes, it is. And there we go, we've used our branching database to filter down the information and get to the results that we want. And I've done that by asking appropriate questions. So the importance is, have you asked appropriate questions? If so, then this branching database will work correctly. If not, you might have to go back and change your questions. Okay.